Well, I am out here with the Octo-6, and the Octo-6 has this magnetometer on it, the magnetometer boom, and it is collecting a magnetometer report. Well, I mean, it was collecting a magnetometer report. You can see here that it has collected 7.5 out of the 7.5 available science. So it's now waiting for more science to do, but it isn't going to find it out here. And if we take a look at the science archive, which Kerbalism provides for us, we can see here that in the outer belt, we have collected all the science that there is to collect around the Earth. Um, we've also collected the global science and 90% of what's in the magnetosphere. Now... In case people are new to Kerbalism, what Kerbalism does, one of the many things it does, let's put it on all of it, there we go, is Kerbalism does put a magnetic field and hence magnetic belt or radiation belts around the Earth. And if you put this in your stock game, it would be around Kerbin. And so we have an inner belt, an outer belt, and this is the magnetosphere. And then outside, that's where you get this global one from right here. The global one, you can see we've collected 100% of that. But what we still got to collect is the inner belt. We've hardly collected anything, 0.4 out of the available, and there's still 7.1 still to get. And if I push the right button, that, I believe, is the inner belt. Nope, there's the inner belt. There's the inner belt right there. Uh, we got to get ourselves into this region here. So you can see this satellite isn't anywhere near to being in the inner belt. So what we're going to do is we're going to move it. Um, and we're gonna we're gonna park it in here and collect the rest of the science that is in the inner belt And it's also being mentioned. I should hang around and wait for a coronal mass ejection We'll do that too, but I do want to collect some of this almost nothing here And actually if we take a look as well, if I look at around the moon You can see that I've gotten all of the high space global around the moon But I've not got any of the space low global around the moon and uh, so there's a satellite there I want to move. Now, one of the great things that Kerbalism provides, one of the many, many great things, if I go back to our satellite, is you can examine satellites from, from here. So, like, for instance, I don't have to go into map view and, or into tracking station and, you know, click on satellites and move from vessel to vessel to vessel. My entire vessel list is listed right here. And if I want to take a look, for instance, at my Lunar 1 vessel, I can just click on it and I can see what science it has collected. I can see it's magnet it's been it's working on a on a magnetometer report. Uh again 12.5 to 12.5 and that's because it is in space high and we've collected all that. I can you can actually even turn things on and off and adjust all kinds of stuff from this position and if you want to you can just flat out go to that vessel. So I can um use Kerbalism to kind of investigate what kind of things do I have available to collect the science that I want. So let's start by making a little bit of adjustment. This thing has 1,071 meters per second of DV in it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it onto the retrograde vector. And does it have electricity? It does. Oh, it is very, very slowly moving. Now the only reaction wheels are down here in this probe core. That's what I'm looking for. Control. Wheel authority's at 100%. I guess that's all she's got. <laughs> so we'll have to wait wait for it to get itself oriented onto the retrograde. And we're going to get ourselves down there. And then we'll pop over to Lunar 1. And we'll get it down into space low as well. I'm glad to see you here at the beginning, uh, Neo Neomorphic Replicant, good to see you. Neomorphic Replicant is one of my Kerbals sitting back home, but I think today is going to be a, uh, where is this going? I think today is going to be a uh, probe day, a non-Kerbal day. I don't understand at all what's going on here. Am I going to have to take control? Oh, now it's going. Oh, wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now suddenly it's going really fast. Wow. Maybe getting away from this probe sooner rather than later is not a bad idea. Suddenly now it's snapping to the retrograde. I don't, I don't know what's going on here. Um, oh, it do, I don't have um, any kind of KOS script running, do I? No, there's no KOS on here. I was just wondering if there's something that was interfering with this. Okay. Um, we're good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to retract 
the magnetometer boom. Oh, I just did it for Lunar 1. <laughs> uh, Octo 6. Uh, yes, let's retract that. Again, I don't know if it models having the center of mass move when you... But I thought it'd be better not to find out. And we're going to go over here to map view. And we're just going to bring down our periapsis. And bring it down into this inner belt. That's the whole plan. And I think I might just circularize in there too. Get it good and in there. Because we want that science. That feels, I think, good. Okay. Uh, we will... Why don't we do this with a maneuver node? Do this the proper way. Bring that down. There we go. That'll do it. Now I do want to reorient this for the solar panel. So that means in a... Oh, now it's stuck on retrograde. This is very, like, I'm pushing over hard on the yaw. I'm not time warping or anything. Behaving very strangely. I'm a little concerned. So let's just sort of get this and get this done. Well, well, you're very, very welcome there, Maverick. I'm glad that the tutorials are working well for you. Suddenly now I got lots of reaction wheel torque, so it is strange. Come back. I'm a little worried about, because there is, you can get failures of the reaction wheels and stuff like that. And I'm a little bit worried that there's, oh, we do have semi, oh, hang on. There's a mod. There's a mod that I thought sounded cool, but I didn't understand. And I installed it anyway, called semi saturable reaction wheels. And that might... I don't think I have anything to control about this. But I think that's what might be contributing to these reaction wheels behaving in a funny way. Yeah, that possibly one plane... I wonder if I roll it? Maybe one plane is bad? There might be something funky, but there is a mod out there. You know, I think that's good enough. I think I think I'm getting the let's extend this again. I'm gonna do a little F5ing. As long as we're generating electricity, we're good. We are. Best to uh, I think not push things. Okay, let's get down, do that burn, and we shall call it. Okay, again, retrograde. You can see now the magnetometer report is running. We're starting to collect that inner belt science. So this is where we kind of want to stay. Uh, but we're going to retract it for now. It did say reaction wheel damage because of radiation. Well, we are hanging out in radiation belts. Yeah, there we go. Radiation, taking radiation damage. So there might be, uh, there may be something up right here. Well, then all the more reason to just sort of get this done <laughs> before this thing fails me completely. Yeah, we are taking radiation damage. Okay, we are... Let's go to half throttle. Because I notice this thing is not exactly uber balanced. And there's nothing precise about this orbit. So yeah, we're taking radiation damage on our reaction wheels. And we're going to continue to take radiation damage down here. But hopefully, as long as the, mag the magnetometer keeps working, then everything is cool. It's kind of neat how I thought it would just, you know, one day just fail. But I kind of like how it's kind of semi-failing. And likely over time, it'll just keep getting worse, won't it? I like that. It's kind of cool. Okay, we're in here. We're good. Let's leave it in here. Uh, let's see. Extend that. And uh, again, I'm going to try and get it sort of 
pointed so that the solar panels are going to get some decent exposure. I don't think I need a lot of electricity to make this thing work. But get it so it's sort of good enough. How do you get rid of the game data in the mods I installed from Space Dock? Honestly, that would depend upon the mod. And I would, if it were me, I would start from a fresh install. Like if you got your game from Steam, I would get a fresh install out of Steam. And uh, whenever I really do a big new, new game with a whole different batch of mods, I always go to a fresh install. All right. I'm thinking this might just be good enough. Give me a little more. But yeah, this this thing is uh, clearly just kind of limping along. All right, so that's going to end up being a little over seven more science, and that'll collect in the background. I think that's good. I'm going to leave it here. So we're going to leave that and we're going to hop on over to Lunar 1. Just got to click here and say go go over there. So this is Lunar 1. It's kind of funny. Um this was meant to be just the the vessel that brought it out here and uh the actual probe is still here. So there's still a ton a ton of uh of um vehicle or Delta V left, like, oh, well, 580 now. We're only around the moon, so it should be fine. Okay, again, we're going to retract that magnetometer, and we're going to get down to... It is already down... Okay, I see this. I, this guy's been going around, and it goes into near space and then up the high space, but it's done with the high space, so what I think I'll do is simply circularize here in near space... And uh, and call it, and then th because it's all done in the high space stuff. So, am I char? Am I gen generating electricity? I am. So let's just simply get this guy into position. It's a hundred meter per second burn. Where's our moon? There we are. It's all darky dark. I should have checked to see if I had a good signal before I did that, but thankfully I do. <laughs> And it has collected, if we go to, you know, let me, um, yeah, no, I, I can do this. I was about to say I should probably take care of the burn, but if you click here just on current vessel, it just shows the science that's available on this vessel. And if we go down through anything but the magnetometer report, you will see that it's all like 100% done around the moon. So um, everything else I'm not worried about. See, moon, all done, 100%. Moon, boop, 100%. So it's just the magnetometer. Okay, let's get ready to go. Five, four, three, two, and one, and go. Need to worry about that. And then we'll get going with our relays. Okay, what's that? It's it's underneath 60 kilometers all the way around. That's all I need. We'll orient this once again for the solar panels this way. And you can push buttons. Oh, I'm still locked to retrograde. I don't know how often I do that. It is like all the time. And ideally, I just want it pointed straight up on the screen, no matter which way around I go. It is now. And, oh, what's my notification? Oh, there's a complete vessel somewhere. Okay, I'm not going to worry about that. <laughs> um, and what I need to do is turn on that magnetometer again. So there it goes. I love watching that unfurl. It's great. All right. Uh, so with that done, and that's going to be, what is that? About 8.6 science. It's going to take... Just under six days, but that'll happen in no time.